Well, this is my Linux desktop, how, how I've uh, configured it at the moment. Let me just highlight this uh, screenlet here that uh, is on the desktop. This uh, CPU load, 17%, 20%. It's also just identical to these here. And as you can see down the right hand side here, I'm heavily monitoring my system. I've configured it to show, um, firstly my name, but the, basically the operating system name, the kernel, the host name, uptime progress, uh, CPU loads, memory, the top processes are running, uh, hard disks in the machine. So you can see I'm running a 7 core system, CPU is number 7 down the bottom there and how they're all performing and, and everything else. So this is just, I placed on a few screen that's just to uh, next to where they should should be in the, just to, to show you that they can be they can be moved and put uh, anywhere on the desktop that you want but uh, I just had them all set up like opposite where they were on the monitoring system over here so that I've just changed the uh, the windows themes to to dark and the menus to dark and so on it's so much easier on the eye I find but uh, the start menu itself hasn't really changed much I've uh, I've added in a few utilities and, and stuff but I mean it's just how it's progressing um, this goofy little gadget here allows me to add any screen that I want um, uh, I hadn't actually picked out one to actually to add but Digital two clock, never seen that one. There we go, digital two clock. And uh, as you can see, you can change the properties and the options, all the different things to treat it as a widget lock position, keep above others and below others, and draws and all sorts of different things. And the theme. Oh, there is only one thing, but anyway, uh, that's what that gadget do, does. It allows me to put any screen like these are just uh, folded views uh, screen lights as well. Yes, you can see they can be moved about. Of course, I've got the desktop unlocked, but um, it shows up. Uh, all the different things where it's mounted um, so on and so forth but this is actually mounted in a Windows machine this documents uh, oh. so it's where I've been bought, um, backing up stuff to but it's my Linux things that uh, there we go. That uh, it's on a D drive in the Windows machine, so you can, as you can see, that one. This is just my home folder, the SDL Steve does Linux uh, folder, and it's got various different things. And as you can see, you just you load them up, and uh, they're just there on the desktop. So, uh, yeah, so this is just a uh, Kyro dock along the top here. All the different things, I've pinned a few st shortcuts and stuff. Um, that's the bin that's not available and to f work out how to configure it. But that's the weather for uh, Quarf near where I stay. Uh, it's actually quite uh, windy at the moment with snow on the ground so 
it's uh, not not so much put it that way that was just an application menu but basically the same as the start menu I put it up there um, CPU and RAM clocks this the screen that's that's how you would normally add them and uh, start them up the add a clock start it up and probably appear right there and there's the clock so that's how you do it manually if you're not using the goofy weed gadget that I found that's the control part, uh, thing right there so moving right along we got the upper my dolphin I'm actually screen recording at the moment um, so you can see it uh, Caden live and a couple of Firefox icons I'm trying to get to Firefox up the top uh, LibreOffice and of course GIMP I'm still launching Firefox off the desktop I haven't quite figured out yet how to get an icon on it and get it up into the dock it's uh, a work in progress the desktop so that's all for now this time and we'll see you again soon please remember to like comment subscribe and share the videos